We're getting closer and closer to Mother's Day. We want to share another special mother and daughter story from our Denver 7 morning team. We talked to Lisa's mom. <laughs> Barb shared an entire table of pictures of us with Lisa growing up. <laughs> yep, it goes from Lisa's lead role as Annie Oakley, that was last year, uh, to her baby <laughs> days with some big sunglasses. Check it out. Also a pacifier. <laughs> Some things have never changed. Barb says Lisa was a special firstborn. <laughs> Lisa loved reading, dressing up, and performing plays with her friends. But with the younger brother, there were bound to be some arguments. Barb shared one memory that she will never forget between the two. My son Rick was chasing Lisa through the house, and he took a broom and swung it at her and left a hole in the wall. They rearranged the furniture that day, and I couldn't figure out why. Rick says, well, I, it's better for the music. So I didn't think anything of it until we went to move, and there was a duct tape painted hole in the wall. Nice. <laughs> Good thinking, kids. So Barb also shared her love for spending time with her granddaughters, Lisa and her husband, Zumi's little girls you see here. Barb wanted to share this message with Lisa for this upcoming Mother's Day. I just love you so very, very much. You know that. You have been a treat in my life, a joy in my life. And hopefully we will have many, many, many years together and lots more fun because we always do have a really good time. Oh, Mitch, seriously, stop, people. <laughs> she is, you know what, though? I love that she said those things. I learned everything from her, man. She is, Aww. Mom, I love you. You're awesome. That's awesome. Good, and then great grandma. <laughs> you want to do the forecast now? No. Yeah, now do we want to make you talk? No, can I go back? What yeah. today? Yeah. Right? Okay, so why don't I, I'll, I'll move on to the other story. Okay. You can compose yourself okay. before we make you come back.